Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Lauren Newley here and welcome to another TE video. So today we are going to be looking at my TE journey in phases because I like organizing things and I thought this could be helpful for you guys. I'm also going to be throwing in a little hair update. In the spirit of being helpful, I'm also going to be very honest in this video. This is not to be discouraging to anyone. This is just so that you guys can kind of see the reality of what my TE journey was. It's been a little bit over four years since the trigger event that started this whole thing. And I have learned a lot. Um, most of that you guys already know because I've made a bunch of videos about it, but I thought that I could just kind of wrap it up and put it in a really organized way so that maybe you could determine where you are along your TE journey. Do keep in mind, everybody is different. Um, you could have a much more intense case than me or a much less intense case than me. So again, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. All I can do for you is put the information that I have and what I went through out there in hopes that it will help someone. I am not a doctor. I do not know everything. And yeah. All right. So let's just jump in. All right. So let's take a walk down memory lane all the way back to about four years ago, the uh, beginning of September of 2015. I was walking down the aisle, getting married, not a care in the world, but I actually had a huge gouge in my leg. Um, I <laughs> had a really unfortunate situation happen. I don't want to get too much into detail, but I ended up running my calf into a metal pole and it took out a chunk of my skin. Um, so in my wedding pictures, I'll insert some here. You can actually see the bandages. So that was the trigger event, was the injury. I um, wasn't able to go and get it properly cared for, so it ended up becoming an infection. It just ended up being this whole saga. Um, so that is what, at least in my opinion, is what started this whole thing. So typically it takes about six months for the hair to start actually falling out. So from, you know, my trigger, in the trigger phase, uh, you probably know nothing about TE, you don't have a care in the world, and you're just living your life, feeling good, having great hair, not knowing that it's going to go away soon. So that is the first stage. The next stage is, in my opinion, the worst stage. This is the intense shedding stage. This can last really anywhere from three to six months from what I've read. For me, it lasted for six months and it was really intense. You will know that you're in this phase if your hair is literally falling out endlessly. In the trigger phase, you probably don't have any symptoms. This is when you're gonna start being like, okay, what is going on? You're probably starting to get really scared, feel really self-conscious, and you probably even thought about going in to see a doctor. Again, for me, this was about six months of time. After that, then you move in to the next phase, which is light shedding and light regrowth. So I found that after that, kind of intense shedding phase, my hair shedding slowed down and the regrowth started. In this stage, you're probably still gonna have some visible scalp. You're gonna, your scalp is probably gonna be itchy and sore. That's one thing I forgot to mention. In the intense shedding phase, your scalp is really sore and it's probably pretty itchy. That's sort of the same in this light shed, light regrowth phase. I think just because you're growing new hair, it's a little bit itchy. And I think too, your scalp's still a little bit visible. So I think it's still kind of harsh when there's like the regular elements on it because your hair or your scalp isn't used to that. But at this point, you're gonna be seeing some baby regrowth and hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit more optimistic because you are seeing some regrowth. Now, the next phase is the intense regrowth phase. So this is a good phase to be in obviously because you're starting to see a lot of regrowth. This phase also can be difficult because you probably look like when you were a kid and you went down those like tube slides and you got out and your hair was like all staticky. That's kind of what you look like because you have a bunch of hair kind of growing in at different phases. And when we do the hair update, I'll show you an example of that because where I am in my natural shedding cycle, I have some regrowth and you can kind of see, but I literally looked kind of ridiculous. Pomade is your best friend at this stage <laughs> to kind of smooth things down. But again, this is a great stage because you're having a lot of little baby regrowth. Um, it's starting to get a little bit longer, more substantial. Yes, you will lose some of the regrowth. If you're seeing that, that's nothing to be super alarmed of. It is normal to shed hair. And I think you need to remember that. It's just not normal to shed all of your hair. So, all right, that is the 
regrowth or the heavy regrowth, intense regrowth. Okay, and then next is my favorite stage of the entire journey. This is when the baby hairs start to lengthen and you finally start to have like thicker hair again because those baby hairs come down, they grow, and if you look up the um, hair cycle, you will know that the hair kind of like comes out a little thinner and then it thickens up. So you really, really feel like you start to look more like yourself. You feel more confident and everything. You don't look so staticky. It's starting to look more smooth and people are probably starting to notice that your hair is looking really good. All right, and then the last stage, that is the stage that I am in now. I like to call this just the normalness stage. So you shed sometimes, you don't shed sometimes. It's probably linked to what you're eating, if you're stressed out, all those sorts of things. And it's really just the regular hair cycle. Again, if you look it up online, you'll know you are gonna shed hair. It's normal to shed hair. It's just not normal to shed half of your hair at one time. Right before I did this video, I just took a shower. I washed my hair with the same John Master shampoo that I've been using for four years now. And I ended up um, just blow drying it. I've been using the Dyson hair dryer, which I love. And I don't use any products except for the Olaplex that I showed in one of my last videos. I just use that as a heat protectant. But that's pretty much it. And I just kind of let my hair do its thing. I would say I'm not 100% back to where I was. I don't think I ever will be, but I personally am really happy with the regrowth and recovery, and I hope that you guys will have the same experience that I did, if not better, and in a shorter period of time. I really hope that this was somewhat helpful for you. I hope that you can identify kind of where you are in your stage of telogen effluvium, and yeah, I just hope that, you know, you can use my other videos to kind of help you get through this, and I just hope that you guys can stay positive. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, loves.